feeling he said something that he can't explain except in exactly the same way that he said it. That should help to make him more tolerant about difficulties he encounters in his reading. Although the benefits of trying to express oneself in different literary ways naturally... Hello! I see you've gotten so bored of Northrop Fry that you've fallen asleep. Well, I'm here to help. What I'm going to do today is explain the purpose of lecture number five, the verticals of Adam. Fry believes that the Bible should be taught so early and so thoroughly that it sinks straight to the bottom of the mind, where everything that comes along later can settle on it. Why? Let me explain. It's impossible to identify the center of literature. If we take another subject, such as math, the center can be identified with ease. The fine core of math is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These four operations act as the center of math, as every equation or problem involves them, thus making them the stepping stones in the progression of complexity in math. But what is the center of literature? Nobody knows. Smart guy Fry believes the center of literature should be the Bible. His reasoning for this is that the structure of these stories can be seen in many other forms of literature, this structure being birth, triumph, then marriage, death and betrayal, then eventual rebirth. Literature can be visualized as a circle, the center being the Bible as the metaphorical stepping stones which build into other forms of literature closer to the circumference. And now you know the purpose of this lecture. So uh, you can go back to sleep now, bye. <laughs>